Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for stopping by the warehouse. My name's Chase and today we're going to be checking out the Easton Velocity V9 hockey stick. Now this is going to be co-headlining the new Velocity line with that V9E. Now this one here is going to have a Mako style type of a taper, so it's going to have a little higher kick point. The other one's going to have an elliptical taper, basically an RS2 or stealth type taper. And uh, these are both going to come in grip and non-grip, but today we're just going to be checking out the non-grip. So starting us off at the top, looking at shaft dimensions. Once again, this is my favorite uh, setup. We got rounded corners, slightly concave sidewalls, offering a really nice contouring hold, letting you really dangle out there. Now going into the shaft construction, you can see how they carried over that Mako texture, raised ridges, has a nice little feel to it, especially if you're not going to be using the grip version. Now the composite that they use is going to be that same uni carbon composite which universally aligns the fibers from the top to bottom in one direction, giving you a really nice tight weave. Essentially, this is just going to give you a little lighter stick. It's going to be a little more efficient in transferring energy. It's going to be a little stronger too. Now going into the taper, this is basically going to be that Mako 2 taper. Still going to give you a nice low kick point, not as low as that V9E with that elliptical taper. So uh, I feel like this might give you a little more power for those guys going to take you know, a little more clappers or hard wrist shots. Now going into the blade, this is where we're going to see the big difference from last year's Mako 2. This is going to have that hyper toe construction that uh, basically stiffens up the toe portion of the blade, softens up the middle portion of the blade, so it kind of creates a flex profile within this, uh, this portion. So when you're taking a shot, now you have the shaft and the blade loading and, uh, and unloading. You're getting even more velocity than what you would get without the hyper toe. Now they brought over that segmented blade core, they upgraded the foam with the Aerox foam which is aerospace quality type of a foam, it's a little lighter, a little more lively as well. They also brought over that micro bladder blade process from last year, that just makes for a really nice consistent puck feel, uh, you're going to know where that puck is sitting on your stick at all times and they topped it off with a 3K carbon weave. So now going to the overall look and feel of the stick, I really like the dark asymmetrical graphics. On the front you got that dark color scheme, you go around to the backhand, that white really pops. I also like how uh, you, know, you can distinguish the Mako tapers from elliptical tapers, regardless of the price point. All the Makos are going to have the white on the backhand, whereas the ellipticals are going to have a bright orange. Uh, like I said before, the Mako 2 was one of my favorite sticks that uh, I've ever used. Uh, it's a little whippy. Uh, you know, 100 Flex feels more like a 90 Flex, but I was really happy when that Mako 2 came out, so I was stoked when they said that they were going to bring it over into this, and then they updated it with that Hyper Toe. Then they also went ahead and added a new dual light curve to the mix. So now we have an E36, which is kind of more of a mid, brought back mid curve of that E28. So uh, I wasn't a fan of that E28, I was really stoked when they came out with that. And uh, Easton's really been doing a lot of research on how to perfect the art of shooting. They came down to trying to find the perfect blade angle. Now the way that they do this, so the way that they found you can achieve this is using the hyper toe with the dual eye curve. So when you're going ahead and you're shooting off of the toe, uh, you're focusing all of the energy into that toe and that dual eye is pulling the heel uh, just off the ice a little bit. So it's just all focused in that toe and you're really getting the maximum load out of that flex profile in the blade and then you're getting pinpoint accuracy with that stiffened hyper toe. So I really think uh, they might have something here. So for even more information about the Easton Velocity V9 hockey stick, be sure to check it out at inlineandicewarehouse.com. And